Hello to my YouTube family. Welcome back to another Shopify tutorial. I'm recording this today's session on the request of Loiza. She requested for floating email icon as we did a tutorial for floating WhatsApp icon before. As you can see, it's a floating WhatsApp icon. We can add it on Shopify and she uh, tested it and she said like yeah yeah it's super helpful and perfectly uh, and now she's looking for a floating email icon so let's uh, go into that I searched in envelope icon and uh, now what I will do I will reuse that code and I will make something uh, or as per her request uh, like floating email I will make something like that from this code okay so what i will do i will copy this whole code i'm copying it and after this i'm inside my shopify uh, dashboard area i'm in shopify dashboard so here i click on on store and uh, it's loading and here i will click on these three dots and then i will click on edit code okay so it's loading the code editor is loaded perfectly i will click i will click on templates to collapse it and now i'm going to open sections then i will add another section with the name of like uh, floating floating email okay section is creating yeah section has created successfully i'm going to delete this existing code and i'm going to paste it the code i copied i will save it and then i will go towards the theme theme.liquid and at the very bottom of uh, theme.liquid before closing body tag i will call section section then i will call that section name over there floating email yes I'm going to save it now take a look on that uh, preview so whatsapp icon is working fine and now what what i have to do i have to put uh, uh, that envelope icon accept that uh, whatsapp so i will copy that uh, svg code and what i will do i will go towards the floating email section and i will remove that whole svg i will paste it the new one and then i have to change the colors i do change them later let's save it first it's being saved code is saved successfully yeah then envelope is over there now we have to adjust the things okay so i will change the color of this to something like uh, blue you can change color as per your requirements Yeah, it's fine and then we will give the width 40 people I think so yeah 40 is fine and then we will give a white color to that as a respective SVG and it will look good okay now I'm going to copy that uh, blue code color code and I will implement it over there here background color this new color and uh, then I have to give a new width to that respective SVG. Sorry, width 40 pixel. Okay, so now I have to give white color to that SVG. I'm going to check the code. Yeah, stroke is a black. Triple F is used for white color it's hexadecimal code i'm going to save it now code is being saved now i'm going to refresh it boom it's looking very nice so now we have to uh, make some changes inside the link and uh, then we are done okay so we have to uh, remove that that link from here then we don't need that text I'm going to remove it and after this yeah we just need a uh, whatsapp number I'm going to call it like uh, 
email put put email here okay it's fine and then I will re uh, replace it with the WhatsApp number yes I don't need that uh, last setting I'm going to remove it and uh, accept show WhatsApp we can put like show show email or icon whatever you want to give that respective ID you can give show email icon okay floating email icon and uh, then please enter your phone number please enter your email that's it I'm going to save it now let's refresh it everything is working fine cool now I'm um, inside mobile view it's working good okay now let's go towards the customizer to check it is it dynamic can we change the values from the customizer or not so theme dashboard is loading and yeah we are inside the themes and I'm going to click on customize okay so at the very bottom you can see floating email icon over there and here you just need to enter your email okay you can put your email like that mail to and then you have to put your email like info at the red so called dax.com and then you have to click on save and you can refresh it then you just need to click on that icon and it will work fine boom as you can see it's working fine it's asking for me to log in from my emails and then it will go ahead see it's working fine so that is how you can uh, modify existing code to make it floating email icon you can change your uh, background color to your desired color I'm going to make a setting for it uh, give me a second let's make a setting for it section dot settings dot icon bg let's make it easier for you I don't need it I'm going to change it to color color uh, icon bg now inside customizer you can change the background color for that floating icon I'm just going to show you okay so here you can see there are lots of colors you can pick your desired one and uh, that's it as I added background color for the icon you can add a SVG color for strokes here I put the stroke color you can create a setting and implement over there and it will work fine so thanks for staying connected with my youtube channel and keep liking my videos keep subscribing my youtube channel if you are facing any problem you can comment me and i will be there to assist you thank you have a good day bye, -bye.